Welcome American Truckers. Just a little backing demo here to help anybody who might be struggling with it. Um, this is going to be the setup. This is the first part. Then I'm going to show you uh, an outside view. And the last part is going to be the inside view. So you're going to get both views. A view from the cab and a view from the truck. I'm going to be hitting a hole over here on my right. When I say right and left, I'm saying it as if I'm sitting in the seat. Um, I come way down past it to turn around because I want my trailer directly behind me. I don't want it kicked off at an angle. So I'm going to come all the way up this side. Now you see that trailer over there on the right that's sitting out in front of the trailers that are backed in? My hole's right in front of it. So I'm going to set up pulling a little bit past it. But you're going to see me come up. Also, as I approach the hole, I'm looking down in it. I want to make sure there's no obstacle sitting in there or anything like that that I may hit. So I'm approaching the hole now. And there we go. All right, drivers. Now this is going to be an outside view. This, this view is from my uh, phone, so it's going to pick up a little bit of the outside sound. I'm not sure if the voiceover will... Uh, cover up the outside sound or not but see I'm pulling a little bit further past the hole before I turn out because that trailer is directly in front of me and I want to make sure that whenever I go to get back underneath the trailer that I don't hit it that I have enough room <coughs> you're going to see as I come in I want to stay as close to that other creek trailer as possible I do that with every every hole I hit now, the first time I come into this hole, I come in a little bit too close because I'm worried too much about that trailer right there. And you're going to see me pull forward and kind of reset up and then come back into the hole because I'll be moving my trailer off to the right. Right now, as I'm backing in, I'm watching the front to make sure I'm not going to hit one of them trailers up front with the nose of the truck as I get underneath it. And I'm also watching the corner of that creek trailer that's parked right there in the in the left corner of my of my trailer i'm also watching the yellow line on the ground see i'm gonna pull forward right there because i'm a little bit too far to the left now i don't turn the wheel at all i just pull straight forward you'll see that in a minute from the inside view and then now i'm gonna bring it back i'm coming a little bit to the right but i still want to be as close to that creek trailer as possible once I get in the hole, I can straighten it all up after that. Now, I'm I'm getting up under it because I'm trying to turn that trailer at that point. I'm wanting to pivot it. And that's something else you'll see once uh, you get on the inside view. You'll see me pivoting it. Remember, drivers, the truck is just a tool. The trailer is, is the object. You know, it's everything we do is maneuvering that trailer now see i'm just probably 10 inches off of that trailer i'm coming right down that yellow line all right now you're going to see me stop and pull forward and for some of you that have eyesight problems no i did not hit that creek trailer it's just the shadow the way the shadow came <laughs> and i'm gonna back it up down into the hole now right here i'm gonna use as much room as possible i'm gonna back it all the way down in the hole and then i'm gonna snake it forward and bring it straight back i have an ocd i like to be straight when i'm in a in a hole i can't drop a trailer if it's not straight it also bothers me if the trailer on my left or right isn't straight because then i feel off whenever i put it in the hole that's just an ocd of mine now see, I'm snaking it right there. I'm a, I want it to go to the right. So I turn to the right, then to the left, and then and then straight. Remember the truck is a tool. So I'm moving that trailer over to the right. Now I'm gonna bring it back down in there, straight. And I'm watching those yellow lines. I'm also looking at the trailer on both sides of me. I'm still closer to that creek trailer but that's because that creek trailer, whoever dropped it, dropped it a little bit too far to the, uh, to the right. 
Remember, when I say right and left, I'm saying it as if me sitting in the driver's seat. Right and left. All right. There we go. See, I made one little mistake right there. You see that? I backed up and I bumped that, uh, I bumped that, uh, curb or whatever you want to call it right there on the ground. You want to be careful not to do that. Now, you, I don't show it in this video, but I come back and make sure my mud flaps are still there. Because sometimes when you do that, it'll tear those mud flaps off on the trailer. When your tires come up against it, sometimes the mud flap gets caught between the curb and your uh, tire, and it'll tear them off. Luckily, right there, it didn't do it. But when I was backing up, I was getting even with that uh, creek trailer that's next to me. But he's got his tandems farther forward than I do, so... He was able to go further back in the hole. And that's why I bumped the curb. Because I was looking at him and not that curb. Some people bump it. And they put their trailers all the way up against it. I don't do that. That's why I pulled forward a couple feet. All right, drivers, now for the uh, dash cam view. As y'all know, who have watched some of my videos, you know my dash cam doesn't have any inside sound at all. So the voiceover should come out all right on this one. Now, remember, I'm pulling forward a few extra feet because I'm wanting to uh, make sure I clear that trailer that's sitting out there. You're going to see it pretty well here in a minute. Now, when I pull out to set up, I'm looking at how much space I have. I want to use two thirds of it. I want to leave one third empty between me and those trailers you see right there. And the reasoning for that is, is that one point during the back, you're going to have to get back under the trailer. So when I do that, I want to make sure that I have enough room between me and the objects across from me to get under that trailer. If you don't, you'll end up in a bind sometimes. And you'll see drivers that get stuck like that. And they inch forward a couple inches and then they'll back up. Inch forward a couple inches and back up. And they do it over and over. And it's because they didn't leave enough room right there. On that right hand side. Um, I don't know if these uh, backing demonstrations help any of you. I hope it does. Um, I know when I first started driving that was always the hardest part for me was backing. Now, see, I'm going to pull forward. That right there is where I realized I was too close to that creek trailer. See, I didn't turn. I just turned my wheel straight and pulled forward. That resets the trailer. So now I'm a little bit further to the right. And I'm coming back underneath it. Now, at the same time that I'm backing, <coughs> I'm also looking to my right. Because remember that trailer setting over there. And I don't want to hit that trailer that's sitting to my right. So I'm looking at it as well. And you're going to see it come into the view of the camera here in just a minute. Right here. See, I'm turning to the left a little bit. I actually got my wheels turned to the right. But my truck went to the left a little bit. That's when I was tightening up. Pivoting that trailer into that hole. Now I'm getting back underneath it. Getting back underneath it means I'm getting straight. You see that trailer sitting right there? I was watching that at the same time, looking to my right in that hood mirror that's on the right. Now you're going to see me pull up to it, kind of get straight. I'm looking down both sides right now, seeing how much room I got on both sides. And I'm going to back it down in there. Now I know I need to go to the right a little bit, so I'm already working it that way. Now I'm coming back down in the hole. Remember, I'm going to use all that room. And then you're going to see me do the snake as I pull forward. I need to go to the right. I need the trailer to go to the right, so that's my first turn. I turn to the right, pull forward, 
Then I'll turn to the left to straighten the trailer up a little bit, and then you'll see me go straight. And I'll pull almost all the way up to that trailer right there. Anyway, drivers, hope y'all are having a good holiday, staying safe. Know somebody that's new, share this video with them, maybe it'll help them. Um, this back here, uh, it's probably about an average back. I mean, it wasn't the hardest. It gets a whole lot harder than that out here. But it's a little harder than the last one I showed y'all in Albuquerque a couple months ago. Y'all stay safe. Be kind to one another. Remember we're family and keep trucking.